After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen. Take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Orders, you know. Okay. He's escaping. Stop him. Oh. Right, I got him. G 
Jesus Christ. How do you manage to get out of the cell? No fucking idea. Come on, you. Get a move on. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Absurd. He'd never choose that. I need to think like Hank. Obviously. <laughs> Is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. The deviant took a child hostage. Rupert, the android with the birds. Tracy's from Eden Club. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? The android that murdered its owner. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you, and you lied to me. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. 
And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Finding me, you saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> 